Hi friends, it's me, Queen Alita. So I'm back with part two um, of the dream, the message from the dream that the Lord had given me on October 19th of last year. So I just want to welcome you back to the channel. And if this is your first time ever seeing me, ever clicking on this channel, you're most welcome. This video is going to be a little bit shorter than the previous one because really they tie in uh, together. It's all from the same dream. It's a message from the same dream. But what I saw, the second part of the dream was that um, where God is bringing you, that place of promise, you are going to have a deep sense of belonging. People who knew you from before will almost not recognize you, but at the same time, they will appreciate the growth. They'll appreciate the person that you have become. And those who didn't know you before the transition, before you came to this place, they will see the new you, the one that um, is healed, <laughs> that isn't so broken, the one who um, has this deep sense of belonging because of being in their place of promise, being where God chose for them to be. This is a place that God ordained for you to be when he created you, you know, when he knit you together in your mother's womb, he had already written your story. So this is a message for those of you who always felt like you do not belong no matter where you've been whether it's in your family whether it's friends that you've had friendship circles school college varsity work whatever it may be you have always had this deep sense of just not being a part of things just always feeling like you're on the outside for some of you it's even been in relationships where you've always felt like um People would keep you at arm's length. I'm talking about romantic relationships where you felt like you've been kept at arm's length and just never quite let in, you know. And for some of you, it's other situations. Oh, it's every situation where you've just felt like you've always been on the outside. And the devil wanted you to feel that. He wanted you to stay in that place where you feel like, oh, well, I, I guess I'll never be, you know, in the inner circle. I'm always going to be on the outside. He wants to he wanted you to feel lonely, but you overcame that. You overcame everything that he was trying to do to destroy you. And now the Lord is bringing you to a place where you will belong. First and foremost, we belong to our father. We belong with him. And that that's something that you have already discovered and you found a place of belonging in the father. And because you've done that, because you've been through this process of just being completely whole with just being with the father he's going to make you feel whole in this new place where you won't feel like an outsider anymore sorry let me just open my notes in case i'm missing anything i, I don't want to get too derailed and off track um so what i was seeing in the dream is that there are going to be people that again have known you right? They have walked with you before and they're going to be people who didn't know you before. And I just kept seeing this, um, like, you know, when people that have known you before see you in these new settings and they almost like want to make you feel like, oh, that's not who you are. I knew you from way back when you're not going to experience that. What I saw in the dream was just people who've known you from before in this new place have just will be sorry will be so accepting and just really happy for you to see you blending in and fitting into this new place they're not going to make you feel like oh don't don't try make yourself to be anything that you're not because i i knew you before this is really going to be a place where you are truly accepted because you have found acceptance in christ jesus you have opened yourself up to the acceptance that god offered you in your time of healing when you were going through a process of just dealing with all the wounding and you realize that you are accepted that you are acceptable you are going to be around people who are going to accept you because that's like th this is all part of your light whereas before the enemy was putting trying to put you into this darkness and therefore people couldn't see that light before and now they're going to see it and they're going to be attracted to it and you're going to fit right in 
when only if and when you are where you're supposed to be okay so let that be one of the signs that hey you know what i know i'm in the right place because i belong i know i belong here this is where i've been heading all my life and i'm finally here and i'm going to do everything that god wants me to do you are someone who is already surrendered and already walking closely with the lord so that's um really part two and the scripture that the lord gave me is philippians 2 verse 3 to 8 um but before i share the scripture something very strong came through in the dream the lord is going to put you ahead of many others right he is going to put you in a position where you are uh, promoted accelerated right you're going to be ahead of people who were already there it's so important this is the crux of it it's not even that part that i just shared it's that god needs you to stay humble don't puff yourself up don't make yourself better than anybody else because you find yourself in a position where you have been promoted or accelerated ahead of others who have been there longer than you this is your place of promise okay this is where you're supposed to be there may be people who are transitioning through where god just has them there and he's going to move them to their place of promise i don't know but the point is please stay humble do not do not um, lose that hum humility that the Lord has put in you because through your process, the Lord taught you how to be humble and he gave you that humility in your heart. So keep that, okay? Um, and this is what leads me to the scripture. Philippians 2 verse 3 to 8 is our scripture. And it says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. So where the Lord is sending you, the Lord really needs you to be about the people. Be about others because it's important not to be self-centered and all about you and your blessings. Go there to be a light. Go there to be a blessing to see where can I serve? How can I serve? Because the Lord is going to put you in those high positions. He's going to exalt you. He's going to accelerate you. Your mindset should be where and how can I serve, right? So verse 5 says, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had, which is exactly what Jesus did. He came here as a humble servant. Verse 6 Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to, right? Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. If Jesus can do it, we should try and strive to hold on to the humility that he has put in our hearts and serve and just serve go into these spaces go into your land of promise with a heart to serve so that is part two i pray that it's blessed you if it was for you and i will see you all in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him